Today I have a monthly September message for all of the Tauruses out in the collective. I do want to remind you that this is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single Taurus out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive and a spiritual essence coach. And I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. All right, Taurus, you know the drill. This is going to be a nine-card draw, so let's get shuffling. First card up represents where you currently are this month. So let's see. Where are you currently, Taurus? Ooh. Okay, this one wants to come out too. So let's see. Oh, okay. So Taurus, you're currently at the Six of Cups in reverse. So this is really about, um, so I kind of feel like maybe there's a little bit of disharmony going on in relationships. I do feel that this could be some inner child work that's coming up for you, Taurus. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, things from your past that are probably coming up that's just not in a lot of harmony. It just sort of feels a little bit um, discorded. It's uncomfortable. Maybe you're actually going through um, some healing, some ancestral healing, or um, maybe you're healing from a previous relationship in the past. Um, but this is currently where you are, so this is going to be very interesting. Your next card is the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. Now, this is your theme card this month. So I do want to point out here, Taurus, that I feel that the biggest message for you this month is really going to be about um, really not... It's going to be important that you really focus on a very positive mindset, that you really focus on a mindset of abundance instead of... Uh, a mindset of lack. I do want to point out that the Ten of Pentacles is really this card that really represents inheritance. It represents property. It represents this massive amount of abundance. But because it's in reverse for you here, I really feel that sort of what's transitioning for you, I'm going to be very interested to see what other cards come up for you, Taurus. But I really feel that what's sort of transitioning for you is this complete shift in reality for you when it comes to your finances and when it comes to relationships. It could be that maybe you're really needing to sort of do a do like a, do a reset when it comes to the things that you believe and how you physically see that in your reality and how you currently feel about those things. What you're accomplishing. A four of swords. So this is really about taking a pause, taking a break, reflecting. Um, I really feel that, you know, when I see a four of swords, I really do see a reflective period where you're doing a lot of healing from um, past experiences. So I do feel that what this month is really going to represent for you is really going to represent a time for you to really reflect on maybe past relationships, past beliefs, um, patterns that you currently had when it came to your um, finances, your wealth, you know, those kinds of things. So this is something that I feel this is where you're sort of transitioning. And this is sort of giving me an overall view of what your month is going to look like here, Taurus. So I feel that this is going to be important for you. Now, let's see what you um, are avoiding. What are you avoiding this month? What do we need to be aware of when it comes to what you are avoiding? This Taurus need to avoid. What is Taurus avoiding? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here, this is what I feel is, okay. This is what you're avoiding. I feel that this is so interesting because you got the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles here, Taurus. And I want to point out that the Ten of Cups is um, this 
overwhelming sense of fulfillment when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your life, when it comes to your emotional bliss. Cups is really about the emotions. And the queen of pentacles is this very loving, nurturing, secure, um, stable energy. Um, this queen of pentacles knows exactly how supported she is and how loved she is. There is not a single doubt in her mind. Now, I, I, I'm going to point this out for you very clearly because the first two cards that you got here, Taurus, was the Six of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And remember what I said. This was really about, you know, disharmonious, you know, very um, missed, you know, disharmonious or uh, relationships from your past um, and your beliefs um, that you know might have been passed on to you when it comes to your finances. So this is really about love. It's really about relationships. It's about partnerships. It's about your finances and your wealth and your abundance, all of that. And I feel that what you're avoiding here is you're avoiding the fact with both this cup card and this pentacle card that you are massively abundant. You are already prosperous. You have everything that you already need. You have, you know, it's, I feel it's really about the perception, right? It's really about how you are perceiving things. You know, the 10 of cups really speaks, you know, talks about having so much bliss and so much joy and just being so overwhelmed with, with love and abundance and prosperity, right? And this queen of pentacles is, this very solid foundation where you know that you are being nurtured, you are being supported, you are resourceful, you could be, you're basically being taken care of, right? And I feel this is what you're avoiding. I feel you're avoiding, you know, seeing that because, um, you know, maybe it's because, you know, in your past, it's not something that you've actually seen, right? And with this three of wands at the bottom of the deck, it's really about you're, you're waiting for this magical, you know, new miracle to sort of come into your life that sort of tells you otherwise, right? But what you're forgetting is that there's work that has to be involved, right? It's really about the actions that you take. And, and the actions that you put into place here, Taurus, that help you flip the script, right? So what are you needing to embrace? What are you embracing this month as you go through this reflective period this month where you're reflecting on your relationships, your finances, you know, what are the, you know, beliefs that you have about previous relationships? You know, maybe there's some healing in that inner child, you know, um, you know, when it comes to relationships and finances that you're needing to let go, um, that you're needing to sort of change, right? So what, yes, okay, what you're embracing here is this queen of swords. This is, this is going to be um, very intellectual, intuitive wisdom, okay? What I want to point out is that the swords represents our intellect. It represents our thoughts. And so I feel that what you need to embrace here is this thought philosophy, Taurus, that, you know, whatever you set your mind to, whenever you can tune into that highest aspect of yourself and, and really allow yourself to tune into what you've gained out of those past relationships or what you've actually learned based off of the patterns and the behaviors that you currently displayed when it comes to your beliefs on your lack of funds, right? Or the, this belief that there's not enough to go around. Um, this is really what you're needing to embrace. Um, and I feel that when you can connect to that higher aspect of yourself, you're going to make a lot clearer choices. Swords is really about clarity and it's really about understanding the truth, right? And I feel that this is where what you're needing to embrace. You're needing to really look at, really explore the depths of your belief structure, your foundation when it comes to relationships and finances. And, you know, what does that belief structure really look like? How are you, you know, um, sort of dissecting that to really explore that and heal what needs to be healed. Now, what is the obstacle here? What is the obstacle? 
When I like to look at the obstacle, I like to look at it as what's currently in your way, right? What's currently in your way when it comes uh, for this month? So what is the obstacle here? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel that the obstacle here, this, this, what's getting in your way is this deep sense of self-care and self-love. Um, I feel that a lot of times we don't really provide ourselves with this, with this great onset of, of connectedness, right? And I feel that you're not really connected to that divine essence that is completely surrounding you here, Taurus. I feel that this is what spirit is really wanting you to do. It's wanting you to really be connected to source um, so that you could have this new beginning that feels so abundant and so prosperous that gives you everything that you could need and more. And I feel that this is, this is what's transpiring. I feel that, you know, this obstacle here or what's currently getting in your way is that you're getting in your way, I feel. Um, and so you're needing to just connect to that higher aspect of yourself. Now, what is the support that you have this month? What is your support this month? I love this. Okay. You have the four of pentacles as your support card here. Um, what this is saying is that you have to really tune into this aspect of yourself and to your situation and to this month that you are secure you that you have a solid foundation i feel that you might really hold on to this this belief you might clutch onto it very 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 tightly here and i just want to point out i looked at the bottom of the deck and we have the eight of swords here taurus and this is about restrictive energy right i feel that you feel very restricted when it comes to maybe love relationships when it comes to finances and wealth and prosperity, right? The things that you believe, you create an emotion with that. You feel so strong about those things. And this is what you're, you're needing to really um, look at, right? Understanding that with the four of pentacles, it's about a solid foundation. You're secure. You're being taken care of. You're being provided for. It might not be extravagant and it might not be the way that you want it to be, but you can work towards that, right? It's something that you can build. You can build upon a solid foundation. But I feel that the one important thing here is that you're needing to see how you are restricting yourself. Those beliefs, right? Those, those very, you know, rigid, stiff beliefs that we often create about our own, you know, reality or our own life is what you're needing to really explore. And you're needing to understand that the only way to get out of that is to heal that. You have to be willing to reflect on it deeply and say, I want something different. And the only way that I can change this is if I put forth the effort to change it myself, okay? So what are what is your action this month here, Taurus? What is your action this month? Okay, you got the three of wands again. Okay, your action here is to, number one, I think it's gonna be very important for you here this month. Um, and because you're gonna be seeing this right before the full moon in September, which is gonna be a full moon in Virgo, I, I believe. Um, here's what I want you to do here, Taurus. What I want you to do is make a list of what you're currently experiencing in your relationships and what you're wanting to change. What belief are you wanting to change when it comes to your relationships and your finances? And the action that you need to take here is declaring with great intention what it is that you're desiring to change about your relationships and about your finances so that you could actually take action towards them, right? And what I mean by that is you know, you're not going to sit around and just wait for it to show up at your door. You're actually going to work towards it here, Taurus. You have to put forth effort into your own intentions and dreams and desires. And I feel that it's going to be important that once you declare it to the universe, what it is that you are desiring and what it is that you are wanting, you will then be able to sit down and make a list of these are the things that I, you know, 
how do I get from point A to point B, right? And you start doing little steps, little by little, to make those changes um, so that you can start working towards what it is you're really trying to change here. Now, what is your advice and your encouragement from spirit? What is your advice from spirit here? Okay, your advice is the fool. This is about taking a risk, right? I feel that ultimately, you know, it, it is going to be very risky for you to really trust in yourself and to be committed to this new to this new way of being when it comes to changing the way that we see relationships, the way that we perceive relationships, the way that we see money, the way that we perceive money, all of those things. It's going to be very risky, but I want to point out that it's be, even though you're taking this leap of faith and you're really exploring the depths of something new that you're not familiar with, you're going to learn so much, right? Um, and I feel that this is what you're needing to do. You're needing to dive deep into this place of the unknown here, Taurus, that ultimately I feel is going to lead you to, look at that, bottom of the deck, lovers, right? I really feel that when you can do this, um, this is really going to lead you towards stable relationships, stable finances, right? I really feel that it's going to lead you to so much love and abundance. Um, and I feel that this is ultimately what you are desiring. It's ultimately what you are wanting here, Taurus. So this is beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and draw from the Sacred Creators deck to see what additional information and insight spirit has for you. Well, that was... Fairly quickly. I wasn't expecting that to be so fast. Oh, I love this. Okay. Nourish the sacred feminine. Now I want to point out, we have a lot of divine feminine energy that is really um, flowing out through the collective. There are a lot of um, women right now out in the collective, um, me being one of them, that are experiencing birthing pains. We're having menstrual cycles that are um, a lot more intense than normal, um, and some of us are actually experiencing um, birthing symptoms, and that's because we are birthing a new paradigm. We're birthing a new way of being. We're birthing this new earth, and so nourish the sacred feminine is really about self-care. It's about self-love. It's about being open to receiving, and the willingness to be creative and to really, um, you know, create something new. So let's read what it says in the book. I absolutely love this here, Taurus. All right. So nourish the sacred feminine. Now is a time of deep introspection. We said that with this four of swords. Now is a time of deep introspection as you wait for an idea to grow and develop. You've planted the seeds and sometimes divine timing requires a period of rest as things culminate and ripen. The moon asks you to be open to receive, to reflect, to pause and collapse into waiting. She's the waning crescent that cast a moonlit glow over the landscape of your life. She has trickled light onto your path, but only very dimly, because she hopes that you will listen for the subtle signs and the wise whispers that are all around you. It's time to look directly into the shadows at any lingering wounds that may continue to affect your current understanding. Remember that in the dark, it's easy to blow fear and illusion out of proportion. Don't strain to see that which you cannot see right now. Instead, focus on your inner knowing and on what you can see. Allow your intuitive nudges and any persistent feelings to help you translate her gentle illuminations. You must trust yourself. Okay, Taurus, this was beautiful, and I feel that it really connected so very well for you here. This truly identifies exactly what we went through about you really needing to trust that inner guidance, to trust your inner intuition so that you can make very wise choices. 
And it's really about you trusting the process, understanding that there are going to be times where you are going to feel discomfort. There's going to be disharmony. Um, and things are really going to feel like they're sort of falling apart. But what that is, is that, that shedding the old layers of your old beliefs, the old version of who you were, so that the newer part of you in this newer paradigm can be born. And so I absolutely love this for you, Taurus. I hope that you were able to gain clarity and insight. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste, guys. Mm -hmm.